Did you know that your gut is the second brain of your body? No? Let me explain. So your brain is responsible for movement, motor skills, memory, speech, and your gut is responsible for the intake of nutrients and water. I mean, it does more than that, but those are the two major things. Inside your intestines, there's little tendrils or little hairs called villi. And this villi is connected to all of the blood vessels that go throughout your body. Once the foods are broken down and those minerals are kind of sorted out, these are the villi that capture those minerals and those vitamins, but it also captures anything else that is small enough to be, um, you know, absorbed into the body. That includes chemicals, dyes, preservatives, anything that can cause uh, an inflammatory response. And when you have an inflamed bowel, your bowels are not actually able to do what they're supposed to do, like send vitamins and minerals to the proper places in your body and to your cells. So what happens is you get what they call leaky gut syndrome. So there's gaps in between these piece, these parts of the lining in your intestines. And what happens is all the bacteria and all the fecal matter and the things like that get brought back into your bloodstream, back into your body, back into your cells where inflammation occurs over and over and over again. And when you suffer with inflammation in your body, especially for a long period of time, I mean, you literally have headaches, infertility, dermatitis, which is psoriasis and eczema. You have depression, anxiety. We're talking about hormone imbalances, which affect everything, your hair, your skin, fibro fibromyalgia, brain fog, sleep issues. We're talking obesity. It is all connected to the things that we eat and the things that we put on our skin. It all gets pushed down under the layers and into the body in some way, shape or form. And this video is just a way to say, think about what you're putting in your body and what it's doing to you. When you put this in your body, what is it doing to you? All the chemicals, all the preservatives and additives. And when you eat things like this, what is it doing to your body? You either have chemicals and preservatives on one hand, or you've got vitamins and minerals on the other. Which one is going to help you heal your issues that you don't have to suffer with?